It's my 100th video, y'all. Check out my new intro. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. I'm an American living and playing in badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. I thought this is a good time to state some goals for the future, but before I do that, I have two very exciting updates and one very sad update. The first exciting news is the China national team is in Xiamen, the city that I'm in right now, and they'll be here for the next month. They came here to Xiamen, because we're the best, to practice for the Olympics. So all the big players are here. I know which hotel they're staying at, and they're playing at the badminton courts right next to the hotel. China is famous for not being open with their training, so of course it is closed training. I don't think I can get anywhere near, and you know, I don't want to bother the pro players. I mean, it'd be fun to watch what they do in training, but I mean, I can't get in, so. I'm not gonna stalk them at the hotel or anything. And I've said on these videos many times that Xiamen is the number one city in China for badminton and this just proves it. The second piece of exciting news is I was interviewed for a badminton podcast. The Volant Wear, the, the clothing company from Australia, they have a podcast called The Badminton Podcast and their latest episode features me. I'll put the links below. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, blah, 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 blah. I'll put all the links below and make sure to subscribe to their podcast and like support it and listen to it. So we really need to support good badminton content. So make sure to listen and subscribe and follow along on their podcast as well. So some of you have noticed um, that I haven't put a video of me playing recently and there's a reason for that. The last video of me playing badminton is uh, playing a tournament when you really shouldn't. I was not hyperbole or clickbait. Um, if you've been following along for a while, you know I have some health problems. I have a genetic disorder. This year it's been kicking my butt. For the past three months, I have not played badminton once since that tournament actually because I was in the hospital a lot. <laughs> it got so bad in October, November, like the emergency room doctors knew me <laughs> and the nurses, like all of them, <laughs> because I went during the weekday, I went weekdays at night, I went on the weekends. So like all the doctors got to see me so often that uh, I just walked in and they were like, oh, you again. <laughs> when I leave, I was like, thanks, see you next time. And they were like, see you next time. So obviously um, playing badminton was not in the cards. Like it wasn't like I just cut out badminton. I kind of had to cut out like everything in my life and just like teach and do my job. And then I just like lay down. Obviously I'm not at all stable yet, but you can kind of tell I'm pink cheek today cause I am playing today, but I'm playing at a very low level right now with like no endurance and no Skills. I had to drop out of three competitions that I had entered, but I had to drop out and I missed three others these past three months. Very upset that I missed six competitions because you know I'm a competitive player and my goal is to be a top player in my city. How do I prove that I win competitions? So I hate canceling competitions, but I really had no energy. Two of them I know I could have gotten second place. I saw the winners. I know me and Aja are better than the people that won second place. So pretty bummed about that.
But you know, luckily I'm an optimistic person and even though it's been a tough three months, um, you know, still optimistic and still planning for the future. So I wanted to just like let you know what I've been thinking about with this vlog because in the past year, <laughs> go ahead. In the past 100 videos, which has been about a year, I've heard from a lot of people. It seems that a lot of you guys are uh, connecting and understanding my journey, which kind of reflects your journey. Uh oh, because my coach loves that. Oh, my coach loves that stupid thing. And that's been really awesome. So I've enjoyed hearing from people. And I think I'm in a unique position. And I think one of my strengths is obviously not like coaching badminton or anything. I think one of my strengths is uh, communicating badminton. You guys really seem to enjoy my videos with the pro players at the Hong Kong Open. Because I'm based in Asia and because I can speak Chinese and English, I kind of have access that other people don't. You got ma. Action. And through this vlog, I've talked to a ton of awesome badminton people, you know, like the Volant Ware guys in Australia. And everyone's bothering me today and like people in Malaysia and Singapore. And ultimately, I think my big dream is to kind of travel around and meet people and feature them and what they do on this vlog. I think that would be really, really, really awesome. How's your Lila? Good. A lot of people also contact me and ask me about training camps. Um, not just the one that I organize like once a week every year. Uh, people want to come to Asia to train like all the time. And I know there's some awesome training camps like in like Malaysia and Singapore and Indonesia. And I would love to go and try them and report them for you. So you, if you are in a country far away where you would need a you know expensive visa and an 18 hour plane ride i could tell you is is it worth it or not so i would really like to like try training camps around asia just for a week in my current job i actually have the time i'm a university teacher so i have winter holiday and summer holiday so i think um within the next year well i have to wait till my health improves like i can't even train with my coach right now i'm very sad I don't have enough strength, but once my health improves, which fingers crossed will be very soon, then I would like to start going around Asia and trying different training camps and showing you what it's like and reporting it back to you so you can see if it's something that you would like to do. But there, I do need your help to accomplish some of these goals. While I do have lots of vacation time from my awesome job, I do work for a government-run public university in China. So while I have lots of time to do these these things I don't have a ton of money and that's what's been stopping me for the past several months I have had a patreon account um, if you don't know patreon is like a website where you can pledge money to pay to a creator every month like a like the old time system of like patron helping da Vinci so he didn't need a job so he could just create art all the time I wanted to give a huge shout out to my current Carol Ann Len, Chao Ching Zhe, Phil H, Marcus A, Jonathan W, and Xing Lan. I really appreciate. Um, I've actually just recently bought a new tripod. That is thanks to your guys' generous patrons. There are some other things I would like to upgrade my camera. I'm just using my phone, and eventually at some point I would like to upgrade my editing system, but that's less important. But I do think. Uh, my picture quality is not as good as some other vloggers just because I'm just using my phone. But if you would like to help support me in getting things like new equipment or traveling to some of these training camps or going to meet some amazing badminton people around the world, I would really, really appreciate it. You get some special stuff depending on which level that you pledge. Go, go, go. And I will put the links below. I super appreciate like anything that you do. You don't even know. I appreciate it so much.
So pretty simple update for my 100th video. I know this isn't like a super exciting video. I wanted to do something like crazy, but I'm not like in a crazy mood these days. So just wanted to give you an update on everything and tell you like my future ideas and goals with this channel. And of course, I want to say thank you to everybody that's watched. Being a YouTuber is funny because it's like, before you start, you kind of see all these idiots with like millions of subscribers and you're like, I could do that. And then you actually make a video and 10 people watch it and you like freak out with excitement because you know you only have nine friends. So one of those people is a stranger. And it's like so exciting to think that like one stranger watches your video, much less like hundreds of thousands like on my videos. So I really thank and appreciate you for watching these videos and for all the nice comments and <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to wrap up and everyone's distracting me today, but I'm happy to be distracted by my badminton friends. Here's to a hundred more videos and hopefully I can get a lot of you included in my videos. So keep watching. I got a couple more Hong Kong open videos coming up and I'll also give you like a little update on my playing coming up soon. Keep playing badminton. I'll see you on the courts. Bye.